find answers, you gotta ask questions. And this week's question comes from Miss Beautiful subscriber of Vassan Tenya. Vassan wants to know, why is sodium hydroxide in a lot of makeup products? Isn't that dangerous for skin? Some people call it lye or caustic soda, but on an ingredient label it all points to the same chemical compound, sodium hydroxide. And although it's frightening that our products use the same ingredients that criminals use to dissolve the bodies of their victims, the sodium hydroxide in your personal care products are pretty darn safe. To understand what makes sodium hydroxide so useful in our products, we need to learn more about what it is and a little bit about its pH. Sodium hydroxide is a sodium atom ionically bonded to a hydroxide molecule. In its pure form, it comes in dry, tiny white pellets. Combine these pellets with water, slowly and carefully, and you'll get heat and a solution of sodium hydroxide. The solution may look clear and innocent like water, but don't be fooled, this is one bad kitty. Seriously. So what makes it so corrosive? This is where you and I have a conversation about pH. pH measures the amount of free hydrogen in a water-based solution and assigns it a value according to the pH scale. This tells us how acidic or alkaline a solution is. Pure water is neutral with a pH of 7. Any lower and it's acidic. Any higher and we call it alkaline or base. Go too far in either direction and proteins start to denature or break down. This means protein structures that are normally coiled start to unravel. This is why sodium hydroxide is used in hair relaxers. At a pH of 12 to 14, the alkalinity is so high it permanently breaks down the disulfide bonds that give hair its shape. Hair straightened in this way can be curled again and to replace with new hair. The chemical process this undergoes is called lanthionization. Now sodium hydroxide doesn't always have to be so mad, bull, aggressive. A little sodium hydroxide can go a long way to making your personal care more gentle. Studies have shown that a skin's natural pH averages at about 4.7. So let's say you're a formulator and you create a body wash with a pH of around 3.8. Whoa, that's too acidic for skin. People might not want to buy your product if it's too irritating. So to get it back into the slightly acidic zone where skin is happiest, a formulator will add a teensy bit of sodium hydroxide or triethanalamine and nudge the overall formulation along the scale towards neutral. If the product is too alkaline, then a formulator may add an ingredient like citric acid to make it a little more acidic. So hopefully this answers your question, Vassan. Sodium hydroxide in your makeup isn't dangerous because it helps adjust the pH of the formulation to make it more friendly for skin. Sure, it can be dangerous in high concentrations, but the protein denaturing ability is very useful when controlled and used properly, helping us straighten hair or even get rid of it. So where do all the ideas for these crazy episodes come from? From you! So if you have an idea for another episode, add it to the comment section below and you might just hear me talking about it in my next video. Thanks for watching!